Get in, losers. We're going camping. Just kidding. I'm going camping. Alone. Which brings me to my next topic. Loneliness. You're more than welcome to be creepy and watch me through your screens, though. What are you doing up there, Jules? Job. I'm gonna try my best not to use glottal fry. I know it's so annoying. It's also called vocal fry, but I'll try my best. Um, I'm just gonna push my voice as best as I can as if I were practicing in choir class. Your ears will thank me later. Ah, loneliness, solitude, the plague of extroverts. The bane of their existence. What am I going to do without people? I don't know how to live. Not me, honey. I love being alone. There's just something serene about going for a walk alone. And something empowering about going to a restaurant alone. And something more conscious about attending the movie theater alone. At least to me. Group projects were always my indignation. But I mean, aren't they to all? I started attending things alone when I was a teenager, wildly independent, socially anxious to a degree of debilitation, and extremely introverted. I am perfectly content being single because, let's face it, boyfriends are annoying. When I'm in a social setting, I prefer one-on-one -on -one interactions because small talk is the bane of my existence. I'd rather not spill my heart and soul to eight people at a party, unless I'm drunk, obviously but I'd much rather spill my heart and soul sober to the internet. I know what you're thinking. Nikki, you don't seem introverted at all. You're too beautiful, sensible, intellectual, smart, sassy, and intelligent to be introverted. I know, I know, but listen, personality traits don't have anything to do with being introverted or extroverted. It's where you gain your energy from. According to dictionary.com, introvert means having a disposition that is taxed by social engagement and energized by calm environments, resulting in a preference for quiet solitude. Extrovert means having a disposition that is energized through social engagement that languishes or chafes in solitude. That's a little dramatic, but I mean, so are extroverts, right? I decided to go for a little hike. I'm just kind of walking down a road. It's really pretty. I found some really large droppings. My first thought was a bear. It looked a little small to be horse droppings, but I know there's equestrian campsites somewhere in this area. So it could be a horse or it could be a bear. I also didn't know that there were bears in this area until just now when I went to a little information stand and it said, you are in Bear County. And there's also warnings for alligators and snakes. It, is this like, Florida's like a mini Australia? <laughs> One thing that's super interesting to me coming from Michigan is the fact that there are just palm tree forests. Just forests of all these palm trees. It's like a dream. I just feel like I'm on a tropical island. Tropical peninsula. And back to loneliness. I am alone, but I am never lonely. However, I know that I'm the anomaly when it comes to loneliness in van life, because I know that the majority of people have a really difficult time coming to terms with the fact that they face loneliness on the road. I get my social fix by visiting friends from the internet. Don't get any ideas. The people that I'm visiting, I've been friends with for one and a half to nine years, and we have extended our communications in the form of phone calls, personal texts, and FaceTimes. I also get my social fix by speaking to locals. There's nothing I love more than learning about the land and the animals from the locals. Speaking of locals, 
I met some. <laughs> On this camping trip, actually, I wanted to eat by the river, so I drove down to the boat launch in town to eat, and I ended up hanging with the locals. They gather there every single night to drink, smoke, and shoot the shit just before sundown. Um, let me tell you something about Florida. All those memes you see about Florida, they're real. The Florida man is real. I'm talking camo, deep southern draw, cigarette in one hand, joint in the other, Coors Light in his lap, and a gun on his hip. <laughs> I have a little bit of footage from that encounter, which I'll post in my next video, but it was just middle of nowhere town with people who grew up in the area on the swamp. Super welcoming, super nice, taught me about the land, taught me about the animals, and I can't wait to go back. Okay, so I realized that I didn't tackle loneliness as much as I wanted to in this video. Sorry, I'm just an elite introvert. But in all seriousness, if you're thinking of this lifestyle, loneliness is definitely something to consider due to the fact that your friends and family are no longer a quick drive away. You have nobody on the road, and there are many days you'll go without having a meaningful conversation with somebody in person. This is a vinegar water mix what I use to clean my dishes just to save on my water I don't use much water in my van I really only use it to wash my hands and I think I went through like five gallons in six months I really just don't use it it's good all clean I actually didn't wipe this with vinegar water it doesn't need it it was just basically oil from the pesto I found some dead wood and I built a little teepee. I also found this really big log. I don't know if it's going to burn, but I'm kind of excited to see if it does. And then if it burns in the middle, it'll break and then I'll have two big pieces. I'll just keep doing that. And this will be my lasting firewood for the remainder of time while I'm here. Okay, let's see if I can get this wood to burn. It is so cold in Florida. I've never been here. And it, it's it's Michigan temperatures right now. Like I came to get away from Michigan temperatures. And everyone here is like, we're having a cold front. It's never this cold. And I'm like, are you sure? This is how I'm going to remember Florida's. And it got down to the 30s at night, just like Michigan. <laughs> the sun's not even down all the way. And I'm just so cold. There we go. Remember, say not a vocal fry and stay creepy.